Hi guys, decided to do a little unboxing video on a few things I bought for my car from Sonic Electronics in order to get my car a little bit more based than the factory system will provide. So here we go, we'll just jump right into it. The MVX brand I decided to go with because I didn't see a lot of reviews on it, but I saw enough to the point where they were good reviews. And the price was fairly good. I talked to John, and that was at Sonic Electronic. John at extension 2499, he was able to talk to me and actually find out what I was looking at. He was able to actually customize it. Because I bought it in a base package. But the box that it actually came with, I didn't want it. It was a truck-style box. And I'm putting this in a hatchback. So the actual box that I wanted, I wanted a smaller box. And this is one reason, and you'll see later, that's one reason why I went with the actual system because I'm trying to keep as much space as I possibly can in this particular vehicle. So, here we go. This is a set of RC cables. RCA cables, I'm sorry. Nothing special. It's just their own brand, MVX. That's one set. This is the second set, which I am only installing one amp. Um... And one sub, and you'll in a moment you'll notice why I actually had to go with two sets of um, RCA cables. This is what really drew me to the setup. This particular amp, um, they got their stick on here, so you really can't see it, but you'll see it in just a moment. I was looking at the PBR seri series of um, actual amps which are made by, what is that company? Rockford Fosgate. I didn't go with those because after looking at them, I saw where they had heating issues. And I, you know, I really liked the, the size of the footprint of them. And this, I think, was a little bit smaller than their smallest one. Or well, about the same. So you got Velcro here from Mountain. Your manual. A little bit more mountain hardware and a couple fuses, 15 amp fuses here. A couple other things you'll need to get this thing connected and going. But the amp, which I'm not going to actually take it out the plastic right now. I have more photos later because I am going to probably start on the install tomorrow. But look at the size of that. Is that not... I love the size of the amp. And this is what they call one of the amps that, you know what, let me let me grab my iPad. But this particular amp, I'm going to get the actual term. It's a 300 watt amp. 300 watt RMS. True watts. And that's why I decided to go with it. Because with the setup, that's about what I'm going to need to actually run this amp. But it's what they call CEA 2006 compliant amplifier. So in other words, that means whatever they print on the actual box or what this thing does, it has to do it. It performs that. It's, you know, it's been proven that it performs. It. I actually have seen um, this amp on one of the guys on YouTube actually did a review on it and it pretty much put out what they said so but at four ohms you're doing about 200 watts where well, you are doing 200 watts and then at one ohm, two ohms i'm sorry you're doing 300 watts which i will be running my setup at 300 watts because i'll be doing two ohms well i'll be running at two ohms i'm sorry all right moving on along here they also have their own Wiring kit, MVX brand. So you have your nice little fuse holder here. It's gonna look real nice. MVX logo on it. Of course, your speaker wire.
your ground cable. This is really flexible too. That's one thing I did notice about it. Remote cable for wire in this case. And your power wire. And this is actually a, an 8 gauge setup because of what I'm running. It doesn't require any more than a 10, I think, but I went ahead and went with the 8. Um, tied this up earlier. As you notice, this has been open before, but this is like really nice wire. This is um, true 100% copper wire. And one thing I, at the time when I was about to purchase it, I, I, was, I almost changed my mind to a different kit because I did want red under my hood instead of um, blue. Just being in my car is red, I'm like, ah, this blue is going to look terrible. But I, once I did get the kit, it arrived today, and I did notice that they had this actual cover note, which is going to be great because I did not want to see blue under my hood, which I don't have a problem with blue, but this is just going to be uniform with everything else that's there. And like I mentioned earlier, 100% copper, which is what you really want for it's like um, your actual, it's just, it's better, better cable than some of the stuff that has other stuff mixed with it so and this is why I needed the second set of RCA cables because I did end up going with a base reconstruction process back in the day when I was really into it and it's been a while nine years I'm guessing I bought a head unit a couple years ago just to replace one and one of my other vehicles but I hadn't been into it real big in quite a while. This, back then, I think we did more like crossovers and way back beyond the nine years, we did like EQs, I mean, years ago in like the mid 90s. And I heard a whole bunch of good things about these. Have been looking at the Soundstream brand and I know they got a, quite a few awards for their base processor, but I went ahead and decided to go with this. I said I'll go ahead and check this out since I did do all the other MVX uh, items. So you got your manual here, you got your base knob for well, base and let's look at this thing again subsonic, your well level, I'm sorry, and subsonic. Uh, you got a couple mounting things here to, to mount the actual unit. This is if you don't have RCA cables on your actual vehicle. Well, not vehicle, but your actual head unit. Which my factory head unit does. And I'm sticking with my factory head unit. Is another reason why I went with this. Because I'm kind of trying to be under the radar with it I don't want people to know that I have this in here which is not really anything major but I just you know fly on the radar so here you have it hmm, let me show you this look at the size of this this amp versus that this is actually larger than the amp amp is a little bit thicker not much though Anyway, back to it. You got your narrow and wide controls here, and then your frequency control here. Uh, input and output. Your remote, well, not remote wire, I'm sorry. Your spot for the cable for your knob, in other words. But we'll see if we're going to test this out, see if, how that impresses me. I think it will, though what I've heard and then well you know what I'll get into the actual box this is their box that they recommend for this actual sub this particular box um I forgot the actual cubic inches but it's it's like to their specs as far as the sub that I have which you'll see a sub in just a moment already poly feel you know And you also have your banana plugs on the back, which is great. I did also order uh, other things. A set of these. This is a Stinger brand. Of course, you always want to get your banana plugs. 
and I think I need these. I'm not actually sure. I almost, yeah, I do need these. I forgot what I got it for, but I guess I'll know tomorrow when I start on install. And I was going to need this to tap into the remote also. And then you have the double-sided tape. But you can never have too much of this because you can use this around the house for, like, many things. Anyway, so to the, here we go to the sub. All right. You know what? I'll use this. Sub. was really amazed with the sub this is their what they call X series and it's their top of the line so and when I tell you this thing has some weight to it it has some serious weight to it this is a 10 inch sub. I just went with the 10 inch because I wanted, like, again, like, like I said earlier, I wanted to keep it small. You have your banana plugs here, of course. You have your jumper, so you can, you can run these at four, two ohm or four ohm. Right now, they're already set up at two ohm, which is good. That's the way I'm actually going to run them. But this thing has, if you notice, a nice size magnet on it and this thing has some weight to it so here you have it um more video to come later i think i'm actually gonna do some t video on the install not really sure it just depends on i do have a gopro camera so i can kind of mount it but i can't move it around because i'll be the only one doing the install but uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and just be on the lookout for more videos.